This is Painting on Glass, the Marcus Sozel podcast in English language. Listen to the stories and reflections of a singer songwriter and author. Hold on, take me back. Hold on, and take me back. It's like painting on glass. Leave a note on your door. Tell me what you're looking for. It's like painting on glass. This is episode 32 of Painting on Glass. Sudden chase, a magic moment framed in song. Let the sun shine on through. It's all you need to do. One paints in our glass. Lay down what you hope to find. All the things you left behind. That's painting on glass. You know that there are magic situations and they are always coming in an unexpected moment and may turn out special in one or the other way. Always so beautiful. <laughs> This is what happened right as a start into the following song a couple of years ago. What of it? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you in the following minutes of this new episode. Join in and enjoy. I got to do a lot of driving in my car and on my own. I have to, and I really love to. That is, because it takes me somewhere and opens up my eyes to things I might look at for the first time. Or it takes me right into a scene that is about to remain unique or does not happen again, just the same way. Ever in her evening dress, and for a while I must confess Looked at her surprise, dressed in silver satin laces, clinging to her body traces. She looked so dear that night. I was driving out somewhere in the east of North Rhine, Westphalia. I got there by chance, and I was not prepared for the things appearing to my eyes then. Quite a lot of people were on the streets that afternoon in early summer that year in this small and beautiful town. I realized they all were dressed up in a correct manner and seemed to be on their way to the town hall that was decorated with the flags of a local political branch of a bigger political party. Ooh. It's a Martha and some party action. She used to be a friend's attraction. She looked to settled as can be, reaching everyone to see, far away from the city line. There, a beautiful young woman stood at the side of the road inside the mellow sphere in the center of this small town. The town hall was just about two minutes ahead and she seemed to be waiting for someone. Her dress was made of silk, and the light summer breeze offered the shade of a fabulous female body underneath when it moved the silk softly to and fro. And from the other side of the street, I could see a young man in a hurry, reaching out for her. He surely was late, and the woman seemed to be waiting for him. He was running desperately, and could, you could sense the words he thought about telling her for an excuse, just as he was trying to get his tie 
in the right position. It's so much smaller for you to When they finally met, they both looked to their neighbors, passing them, also on their way to the town hall. They did greet each other in a very familiar and friendly way, just the way they do far away from the city lights and while knowing each other for many years. But could, you could also glimpse that there was something else in the eyes of the woman and the young man. The way they looked at each other was kind of strange. She wanted to be there in time, and he, he was late. Maybe, maybe she was hoping for going somewhere else in years to come. I don't know. But in mind, I gave her the name Sarah. I drove by with my car that night, and she soon faded out of sight. Some boy hurried up to her. First she held to her breast He seemed to huddle with hot rest For being a bit slay So much for you to achieve You learned you won't get it all But you still didn't believe When you tried to turn the page somehow Get attracted anyhow And still something seems missing And still something seems missing Of course, I do not know them. <laughs> I'm just guessing. But that's what you do when you join in such a moment and leave just the other. The story popped up in my mind and I've always kept this portrait of the woman and the chase of the young man trying to be with her in time, which he would not. <laughs> As a songwriter, you are about to keep these pictures in mind to feed any new story. But it also remained as a symbol of yearning for somewhere else, while living in the familiar beauty of this nice and quiet small town out somewhere in the country. A lovely place, but dreams don't care about that. <laughs> They don't. Well, in mind, I remained there for a few moments more, and I hope that they would find out the decision for both of them, or maybe for each of them, however. Town halls and political happenings are not always the ideal places to find out about that. But you're also bound to walk on a path you grew up on. In case you learn to decide on such a path, it can be hard to learn otherwise, to get on better. 
have her in your evening dress And for a while I must confess I looked at her to Dressed in silver satin laces Clinging to her body traces She looked so dear that night The title of the song is A Sudden Chase, and it was published on the album Patches 11 years ago. It is not available on music outlets or the internet, just on physical CD, which you can purchase via the contact area of my website. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating or review. It'll help others to find this show. Thank you so much for being with me today. <laughs> See you again. Even though it's for me to find behind So I might be able to find you Show it with a trace of a smile in the love This might be something We'll meet here in a few episodes to come, if you want to. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's wonderful. <laughs>